You know the situation, you want to shower but you don't want to wash your hair, pretty normal, pretty common, right? I think it's pretty standard that people maybe wash their dreads once or twice a week, probably want to shower a little more often than that. How do we deal? Okay, so the simplest thing is, if your dreadlocks are long enough, just tie them up in a bun on top of your head, no worries, shower, they're out of the way. A regular ponytail in general isn't going to cut it because the dreads are going to be laying down on your back and they're going to get like wet and also you're not going to be able to wash your back properly and the dreads are going to be falling in the soap, not good. The problem with the uh, bun method, well there's two things, one your dreadlocks have to be long enough to tie up in a bun, so you need a fair length to begin with and two, even if your dreadlocks are long enough, uh, it's kind of fiddly, like I suck at tying my dreadlocks up in a bun, it's a mess, I mean being messy doesn't matter so much if I'm just showering but dreads are falling out and if I'm doing that dreads like always find a way to fall in on soapy stuff not good so I have a simpler way that works for whether your dreadlocks are long short whether you're clumsy with a bun or not and so this is what I do I take the shirt that I'm wearing before the shower because usually I'm wearing a shirt at some point during the day and I just pull it over the dreads do, 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 do. Extra points if it's got sleeves, because the sleeves can be useful for tying things. Pull the shirt up now. Twist the dreads into a bun. Now you can either use the sleeves or I have a handy headband on my wrist. And I just bring it over the top. And there we go. That's how I do it. It's faster than me tying up a whole dread bun. Um, it works whether your dreadlocks are long or short. And pretty much any situation where you can either hold the shower head or adjust the shower head or take a bath is going to keep the dreads out of the way. If you have a non-adjustable shower, so one that you can't move up or down, up or down or hold, it's going to be a little bit trickier. You might have to lean in and out of the water. Um, we've all been there. Not the most practical. You may, in such situations, want to look into like shower caps, swim caps, or just jimmy together a plastic bag. Been there, done that. But for me, this is the way to go. If this video was helpful, useful, informative, entertaining, any or all of the above, do consider giving a like or leaving a comment or subscribing, whatever floats your boat. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Woo I've been in a pool looking like this. I just genuinely don't seem to care, do I? <laughs> oh, what am I doing?